Today could well be the day, and if we're being completely honest with ourselves, should be the day that we win the Premier League title. We have four games to go. Everyone else below us, other than Manchester United, who we start with, have three games to go, meaning Liverpool have the potential to earn another nine points, bringing them to 78. So if we draw or lose, basically if we fail to win against Manchester United, then the league title will continue on to the next game, which is actually against Chelsea. So we don't have too many uh, easier games left this season. We've then West Ham, who are eighth. So again, not an easy game. And then Watford, who are 17th and probably safe from relegation. And they'll know their fate almost certainly by the time we get to the final day. So as such, uh, if we beat Manchester United here at home, then we win the league title. If we draw then it, it goes down to goal difference, which could sway. It's plus 17 at the minute, but obviously that would have to swing uh, by nine goals or so for Liverpool to improve by nine and us to drop by nine if we're losing every game. So it's not beyond the realms of possibility that Liverpool could win three games by three goals at all. It's also not beyond the realms of possibility that I could lose some games as well. So getting something against Manchester United could be vital to the overall league campaign with Chelsea after that, as I mentioned. And previously this season against Manchester United, I think it was one of those games where we just get really fortunate against the AI where they, they push unnecessarily. When was our last game against Manchester United? A long way back, apparently. It was a long time ago, a 2-2 draw. Okay, it was Manchester City and Liverpool then that we got the big results against. We beat Manchester United, however, in the FA Cup final. We beat Manchester United, however, in the Europa League final. So, can we beat Manchester United in the league, which is something we didn't do last year, to win the Premier League title? I really hope so. You see the side has grown again. Salim up to 88 now. So, continually we're getting better and better and better. I am actually going to put... Uh, Firmino Diaz into the starting lineup ahead of Mulholland for this next game. Just the one change. You can see Manchester United start up on the lineup on the right hand side. They're starting 11. Henderson, Digne, Skriniar, Pau Torres, and Wan Bissaka. Bukayo Saka on the right. Telemons, Lo Celso, Rashford, Bruno, and Isaac. That is a very good team. But is it good enough to beat us? Let's go and find out. Do drop the video a like if you enjoy, of course. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any further videos. The brand new series will be starting literally within the next three or four days. So keep your eyes peeled for that in your sub box. And for now, let's crack on. Let's win that bloody Premier League title, shall we? It's a lovely ball by La looking for Luca Digne. He's got support arriving. Nagy steps in well, though. And Van der Fort is free here. Just try and spin and work it out to the other side. Tudor's asking for it, so it's he who will look for. And actually, he's got Pau Torres on the back foot a little bit here. And support's arriving. Oh, and Hefte's in the box. Hefte buries it. The last episode, we were desperate for a Hefte goal and had to wait forever for it to come. Today, first opportunity, first goal. We lead by a goal to nil at Barrow Boy Lane against Manchester United. And it may well start the celebrations early. Forward to Salem. Van der Fort was with me. I thought he was going to make a bursting run. He didn't. He just held slightly. There's a bit of space here for Lucas Bull. He's in the box. If we get on that right foot, which I was trying to do, we could have tried to whip that to the far top corner and put this game beyond Manchester United's reach. Even in this first half, that's a decent ball, but Pumphrey gets to it first and Bull is on it. Still having a part to play, even if he couldn't get his shot away a moment ago. Salem looking for Van der Fort. A cut back on his left and then whip it into the middle. Tudor could be there. Milan Skriniar does well to rise for the header. Marcus Rashford will look to break away for Manchester United. They haven't yet really threatened Vermolen in goal. But if they do find an equaliser, then the title will go at least one more game. Rashford, now he's in behind and has options in the middle. It's just too fast for Nagy. But Pumphrey will get rid of that. It will fall well then, Giovanni Lo Celso. That was very well struck. Vermolen has now been tested, but he's risen to that test. That just fell beautifully. That was Rooney against Newcastle-esque, wasn't it, all those years ago? 
Unfortunately for uh, Manchester United on this occasion, it didn't fly in. Bukayo Saka with the delivery. Vermola not with the best of clearances. Tielemans will knock this down. Pal Torres will find Marcus Rashford. Not much room for him, but it is opening up perhaps. And his shot comes in. It's scuffed. Keepers come. That's a goal kick as Bruno Fernandes tries to find a gap that closes too quickly for him. Three minutes to go till half time. Manchester United just giving us that warning sign that this is not over yet. Do not get complacent. I love that, thank you. Hefte takes it away. Found a foot inside to Samar Salim. Tudor is there. In that first half, we had one shot. Oh, one shot that ended up going in the back of the net. Man United had three, but none of them were on target. Provided they can improve their shots on target tally, they might get themselves back in this. You can see top left, or could see, as it was up on your screen, just how they've dominated possession so far in this game. Over 60%. And having yet more of it here as we've given them possession back again. Bruno gets away from Pumphrey. Rashford has options inside and out. But Nagy puts a stop to that. Giovanni Lo Celso. I thought his effort, to be fair, in the first half, that volley from the edge of the box was actually headed in between the sticks. And it was on target. But according to the statistics, it wasn't. Look for Salim here. And then we'll look for Ball. He's found well. And he's in behind. Pau Torres is with me here. I'm going to try and fool him. Oh, and then he still tried to take on his left. We sent the defender, and all he's got to do is bend it with his right there, and it's in. But he somehow tried to step across it again and shoot with his left. Lucas, that's annoying, mate. You're supposed to be able to finish those. Salim, whip it. That's a corner. That's a corner. Still the chance to get a second. Would be very apt if Rodri Pumphrey gets a goal in our title-winning win. Hefte... Oh, it couldn't, it wouldn't quite pop up for him. But now we have a, the opportunity for a free kick here. And Lucas Ball, now we'll give it to Damian Tudor. He's the guy that has scored a couple of absolutely stunning free kicks for us so far in this save. And we'll try again here. Time it. Oh, green. And it's just pulled past the post. Hope perhaps to put a little less power on it. And relied on his natural shot power, which is 99. Then maybe it could have been a bit more accurate. Not far away from a second goal and guaranteeing that league title right here, right now. Hefte across the Firmino Diaz. And Van der Fort played in. Salem, Hefte, or look for ball. He's going to reach him. This is the moment. This is the moment. No, it's not. Milan Skriniar with a goal line clearance to keep the tie and title alive. Can't find a way. To get the ball across the line for a second time in this fixture so far. Time is running out for Manchester United though to deny us the victory nonetheless. They are defending very, very well though, Manchester United. Have to give them credit. Either the keeper's making the saves or the defenders are saving their keeper when the ball does get past him. Damian through that gap. Come on now. Is this the time? No, it's not. Pal Torres again defending really well. 15 to go. Still 1-0. A lovely ball over the top looking for Rashford. And he had the pace on Nagy last time he went in behind. And he's done it again. Jenkins is across. How is that for defensive solidarity? Absolutely superb. Firmino Diaz out wide. Determined to get a second goal in this game. And I'm kind of determined that Ball's going to be the one to get it. Or at least be involved in it. Oh, look at Hefte on the edge of the box. He's on his own. Hefte! No, it's hit Tudor. We're even getting in the way of our own success now ourselves. Jesus Christ, give me a second goal, please. He's Palistri. He scored against us recently, and he could do again. Oh, how's that for an interception from Rodri Pumphrey? He might not have been involved in scoring a goal at the other end from a corner, but he certainly kept one out there, I'm sure of it. Now, Lewis van der Voort can dip in on that left, and he loves the cheeky finesse from the edge of the box, there or thereabouts, with just 60 to 70 seconds remaining. We are... Moments away from a Premier League title. Moments. Juan Bissaka on the counter-attack. But we can slow him up. We can force him backwards. It's the throw. There's the whistle. Your Premier League champions. Barrow. The, the crowd are just quietly applauding. They've not gone mental at all. The players are going crazy. But the fans don't seem to realise that we've won the league. 
I'm not, I'm not entirely too sure there's no real reaction there. We've won the league, boys. You can celebrate. The lads on the pitch are celebrating. Will we get to see the trophy celebration, the trophy lifting in this game? I presume so, because it's at home. Although normally, I imagine you have to improve. Yes, we are going to see it now. Sometimes you have to wait till the last home game of the season, but we are going to get the opportunity to lift the Premier League trophy three games early. Chelsea, West Ham and Watford will all, in theory, if they were polite, give us the uh, the standing ovation. Oh, yes. It's Pumphrey, our number one centre-back, lifting the trophy for Barrow. That is something we love to see. It's taken seven years for us to get to the point of lifting the Premier League trophy, but seven hard-fought and well-earned years to get us to this point. That is trophy one for the season. But tomorrow, there's still the small matter of an FA Cup final against Wolves to come. We'll finish the rest of the league season today and I'll probably give you a season round actually no we'll have to wait until after the cup final won't we for a full season roundup but in the comment section down below let me know all of the players former Barrow players former youth academy Barrow players that you would like to see in a kind of where are they now style video I'm going to be doing that after the FA Cup final with Wolves tomorrow we'll play the FA Cup final and then as a separate video it'll either come the day after or maybe the same day as uh, the FA Cup final tomorrow and we'll have a where are they now as we scout as many of the young youth academy prospects that we've had over the years and get them all on my shortlist and then we can show you because you guys have requested it where everybody has ended up and if anyone else has ended up becoming a star or if others have actually seen their their potential dwindle and not reach the heights that potentially they could have done but that is the Premier League for Barrow AFC, we are the best side in the country of England. And there's still three games to go. That feels very good indeed. We'll go through and we'll simulate the remainder of the games this year. Chelsea are knackered. Look at that. That's awful. Surely they can't get away with starting a, a, an 11 that is that tired. A 3-0 win and no surprises. Salem with a hat-trick. Yes, Samar. Love that. He's in the shout for the uh, golden boot this year. And that puts him just one behind Maximiliano Gomez at Manchester City. Just one behind. Look at Hefte up there in seventh with 16 goals. What a revelation he's been this season at Cam as he's continued to grow up to 90 now. Oh, Hefte, please. Not Hefte. Please, Samar. Please, let's get you the golden boot this year. Hefte with a goal and Lucas Ball with a goal. It's going to go down to the final day for the Golden Boot. Manchester United lose to Everton, which is actually massive for Everton's top four push. You can see there now, United on 60, Chelsea 61, Everton 61 and Arsenal 63. But with the worst goal difference or joint worst goal difference with Chelsea of everybody else. So the top four fight is going down to the final day. At the bottom of the table where we face Watford, they are now safe. And... You'd say Crystal Palace are safe too. There's not going to be a 14-goal swing in goal difference. So Leicester, Fulham and Burnley will be relegated from the Premier League this season. That is going to go all the way to the wire with regards to that final Champions League spot. Progress assessment. Uh, don't worry about it, lads. Don't worry about it. Right. Did Maxi Gomez score? He didn't. Samar. Now is your moment, my friend. Now is your moment. Do the business. Oh. Well, that's not part of the script. Tudor's the one that gets the goal. It's a single one-all draw against Watford. Manchester City win 1-0. And what's the betting that it was Maximiliano Gomez that scored that goal? I wouldn't be surprised. We'll have a quick look at uh, player stats for the Premier League. For the Premier League. And it was... Maxi Gomez that scored that one goal for City. So he will win the golden boot. Fair play to him. Fair play to him. Right, tomorrow then, you join me for the FA Cup final against Wolves. We've won the Premier League here at Barrow. The next series, starting in the next few days, is going to be with Brentford. I'm going to be 
doing as we traditionally do on the channel, moving all of the promoted and relegated teams around in England, Spain, Germany. I can't do Italy, there's only one league now, and France. And uh, updating loads of transfers, as many that are officially announced and confirmed as possible. So let me know in the comment section down below if there are any transfers, and I do stress, only those that are officially announced by clubs. Official transfers that have been made in real life so far in this transfer window. Let me know them in the comment section down below. I may well stream tomorrow me updating the uh, the database for the beginning of that Brentford save. So follow me on the link in the description to the Twitch channel. We will be live streaming Formula 1 later on this afternoon. I'll be live streaming Formula 1 tomorrow as well. But I'll probably live stream my uh, updating of the transfers as well. As we head into or look to head into the brand new save moving forward. Uh, probably due to start Monday-ish. Maybe Sunday. It depends. I've ordered the Brentford shirt. It just hasn't arrived yet. Uh, but I'll probably start it Sunday or Monday. Regardless of whether the shirt is here or not. So it's all about the transfers. But this series isn't done yet. There's an FA Cup final to come tomorrow. And there's also a Where Are They Now bonus episode to come as well. So let me know the names of all of the players you want to see. We've already got a handful on the shortlist. I'll show you those that we've already got. So you don't need to bring them up again. There's Montero da Costa, Abdeli, Press, Mawasa I can actually remove. Um, Ve, uh, Amuzu I can remove. Kamara Mesa I can remove. Al Home at Mullen, Costa Gardner. You can see all of the uh, the other players here. Pinto Leite was the uh, Ronaldo regent, who's just electric fast, by the way. How good is he going to be eventually at some point in this save that we won't get to see come to fruition? So I've got a handful of players on there already. I'm going to, in fact, I may even just go through all of the season roundups that we've had so far and put all of the names on that list and advance and show you them after the uh, the FA Cup final tomorrow. Or at least I'll wait until after the FA Cup final. Probably won't be in tomorrow's episode, though. I'll do it as its own standalone. But for now, that's all for this one. Shorter, obviously, as the season finale was, well, sewn up. Quicker than I expected it to be. I didn't think we'd beat Manchester United. We did beat Manchester United. That is all for the league season. That is all for the league part of our journey here at Barrow. But there's still one more chapter to come. Join me tomorrow for the FA Cup final against Wolves. I'll see you then.